Hey, good morning. Today is uh, Wednesday, March. What is today? March the 10th. March the 10th. You believe it's already that far? Man, it's going fast. This month is, is scooching right along. We got a lot of wind out here today. It's supposed to be blowing in some rain. We'll see how it comes out. Uh, I think it's supposed to go through the weekend too. It's supposed to have rain this weekend. So we're we're ready for it. Bring it on. We'll have a lot of water running in the creeks here in a short bit. It's went down. The, the water's not running that fast in the creek, but uh, it's there. And the spring water down there is really moving. So, uh, last night I went down. It's filling that pond up. We got that pond bank, uh, the, the outlet. We got it raised up some. And after this rain moves through and, and the level filters back out, we can add some more rock and, and concrete to it, make it more solid and, and uh, so it'll hold more water. We'll add another two or three feet to that pond, <clears throat> put some carp in there for the algae, and uh, clean that up. It'll be pretty nice. All right. Today I've got the uh, First Timothy 2 verse 5, and uh, there's a handful of references to it. So I want to get those, get that put out. You know, we stick with Paul's writings because the risen Christ revealed revealed this to Paul. Uh, he didn't reveal it to Peter or James or John or to Paul. So I stick with that. I stick with Paul's writings for that reason. Uh, it says the risen Christ is talking to us through Paul's writings. So I stay with that. Alright? That's what I do. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll put this thing over here out of the way. Let's see if it'll sit right here. We're not bent over here. Uh to set anything up to see. I'll show you in a minute where we're at. Alright? See this this over here? Over in here. Had a fire get away from us. Went down and got in some area that we didn't want it to get into. Not yet. We was going to do a burn it off a little at a time. But I wasn't here, uh, Marsh and I had went to town that day, and so he tried to do it by himself. He got away from him. <laughs> you don't want to do that but once. <laughs> all right, so here's here we go. We'll get into these references to uh, 1 Timothy, all right? And uh, see where this takes us, you want to? For there is one God and one mediator of God and mankind a man, Christ Jesus. Or is he the head? Is he the God of the Jew only? Is he not of the nations also? Yes, of the nations also. If so be that God is one, who will be justifying the circumcision out of faith, and the circumcision through faith? See, that's the the circumcision out of faith is Abraham's faith. He's out of out of faith, and uncircumcision is through faith that's the faith of Jesus his faith <clears throat> for there is no distinction distinction between Jew and Greek for the same one is Lord of all being rich for all who are invoking him nevertheless for us there is one God the Father out of whom all is and we for him and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all is, and we through him. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, over all, 
and through all and in all. If there is a soulish body, there is a spiritual also. Thus it is written, The first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam, a vivifying spirit. But not first the spiritual, but the soulish. Thereupon, the spiritual. The first man was out of the earth, soilish. The second man is the Lord out of heaven. Such as a soilish one is, such are those also who are soilish. And such as a celestial one, such are those also who are celestial. And according as we were the image of the soilish, we should be wearing the image of the celestial. Hmm. Who being inherently in the form of God, deems it not diligent to be equal with God, nevertheless empties himself, taking the form of a slave, coming to be in the likeness of humanity, and being found in fashion as a human, he humbles himself, becoming obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And there's the references to 1 Timothy 2, verse 5. And <clears throat> look these up in context so you can get the, get the meanings of them and, and follow through that way. All right? Just look them up and, and, and read them in context. You know? So we have one Lord, one God. See, there's, Jesus was not God. He did not raise himself from the dead. His Father roused him out. And you know, the same Spirit that lives in us is the same Spirit that roused Christ out from among the dead. He lives in us. How awesome is that? And that same Spirit will be vivifying us also. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? To know that, you know? We know that. We know that to be true. There's a, a fear that goes around and up the driveway. I've not been up there yet today. Uh, actually, I was kind of lazy. I didn't do up there yesterday either. I'm getting slack in my... <clears throat> but I haven't been up there yet. I'm up... See? Here's where we're at. We's back here. We done a little video back here today. Set you on the door. <laughs> the old log home. You imagine this had, uh, I heard there was several kids in this that did this home with them guys. So we don't know, you know, what kind of life do they have? Uh, how did they, you know, they cut these logs off this property and they made this log home out of the trees that's on the place. And they got an old well dug, uh, or the cistern, where's that at? You can't see it, it's on the other side of that well house. There's a, a hand dug well out there that they use for water. I remember mom telling me when I was, the, the year I was born, when they brought me home, she said that uh, they had a hand dug well, but <clears throat> they had a bucket that's on a rope. And she said when dad would go out to get the water, he'd have to break the, the ice out of the rope in order to make it flexible enough to bend the bucket down into the well, to drop it down to get water and draw it up, you know, to take it in and warm it up for hot water. Man, are we ever spoiled, you know, the, the things we've got today and what we grew up with, you know, my life and just my lifespan. I'm, I was born in 1957, so that puts me up in the 60 something three or four and those few short years you know that i've been here how much technology has improved uh how fast things has come together and all that man has all that he has accomplished is nothing compared to what god has you know all man all that they do is 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 work to make money and to buy things and to step on people to to improve their own lives you know they 
There's nothing that's going to stand forever here on earth. It's all going to be demolished. <laughs> but we have our home. Our home, our inheritance is in the heavenly realm. That's where our home is. We're temporary here. So, anyway, it's going to be an awesome day. Y'all ready to get the day started? I think I am. All right. Let's go see what God's got. You want to? Let's do that. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. See you then.